Hello, welcome to Elizabeth Reads. Here we have The Animals of the World. It is out of our um, jigsaw puzzle, Animals of the World, which is a 300 piece puzzle. And this book came from inside it. There are a lot of animals in this book. First of all, we have our types of animals. We have mammals, which are um, almost all mammals have hair or fur and feed their babies milk. Mammals usually give birth to live young, although platypuses and spiny anteaters lay eggs that hatch later. Creepy crawlies. Over three quarters of the world's animals are creatures such as spiders, worms, snails, and insects. Most live on land where they can survive almost anywhere, from the driest desert sands to rain-drenched forests. Birds. Birds are the only animals that have feathers. They all have wings, although not all of them can fly. Some are swift runners or sleek swimmers. All birds lay eggs and take care of their chicks. Amphibians. These animals can breathe on land and in water, and they spend their time between the two. They have soft, damp skin, which they need to keep moist in order to stay alive. And there's reptiles. Reptiles are not the same as amphibians. A reptile skin is dry and scaly, and most reptiles are cold-blooded, which means their body temperature changes with the temperature of their surroundings. Almost all reptiles lay eggs. Then we have water animals, from slippery eels to speedy sailfish. All kinds of animals make their home in the rivers, lakes, and oceans of the world. Look at this page. This page is about tropical oceans. Tropical oceans get long hours of strong sunlight, making them warmer and saltier than other oceans. Coral reefs thrive there, providing homes and feeding grounds for thousands of sea animals. Here's a few examples of some tropical ocean sea animals. The huge ocean sunfish can weigh as much as two polar bears and produces as many as 300 million eggs at a time. Longer than 10 adults, the whale shark is the world's largest fish, and it only feeds on tiny plankton. Sailfish raise their sail-like fin to steady themselves in the water as they expertly pick out fish from a group with their sharp, toothed bills. Queen triggerfish wedge themselves in tight gaps between rocks or coral, locking their spiny top fins so enemies can't pull them out. Here we have Rainforest life. Rainforests are densely packed with tall trees that are green all year round as it rains almost every day. More animals live here than in any other habitat on the entire world, either up in the trees or in the warm, wet shade of the forest floors. Let me tell you about some of the animals there. Green anacondas are the world's heaviest snakes, crushing to death anything they can overpower occasionally even a jaguar. Long-tailed macaques use stones as tools to open nuts and shellfish and wash and peel vegetables before they eat them. Male birds of paradise show off their plumage in elaborate dances to impress female birds. Tapir's short, flexible trunks can move in all directions to grab leaves or act as a snorkel when they swim. Poison dart frogs, tiny bodies, are brighter the more poisonous they are, warning any hungry predators to keep well away. Check out the grasslands. Huge areas of the world are too dry for many trees to grow, but there is enough rain for grasses. These grow tall and lush, providing food for plenty of plant-eating mammals and animals who in turn become prey for meat eaters. A kangaroo is born the size of a gummy bear and weighs less than a paper clip. You can tell a black rhinoceros from a white one by its pointed upper lip. A white rhino's upper lip is flat. Galapagos giant tortoises are the largest on the planet and they can live for more than a hundred years. Growing up to half the length of a bus, deadly black mambas are the longest venomous snakes in Africa and the speediest in the world. A hippo's skin oozes an oily red liquid that acts as a moisturizer, antiseptic cream, and sunscreen. Over three times taller than an adult, giraffes are the world's tallest animals, mammals, 
but their necks have only seven bones, just like a human's neck. Here we have mountains, lakes, and rivers. Many animals live near freshwater lakes and rivers and on the tree covered or grassy lower slopes of mountains. Up the mountains, the air gets drier and much colder and fewer animals live up there. Golden eagles are the second fastest birds in the world, diving down to catch prey at the speed of a Formula One car. A peregrine falcon is faster, but only half the size. Fjord horses are one of the oldest breeds. They are believed to be related to horses that came to Norway 5,000 years ago. Llama wool is light, warm, and waterproof. Llama farmers in Peru call their flocks droppings llama beans, and they use it as fertilizer. The pink of flamingos' feathers is caused by pink chemicals in the shrimps and algae they sieve out of lakes with their curved beaks. Male moose grow new antlers each spring. Their size and shape show how old and healthy the moose is. Here we have tropical forests. Here we have mountain forests. Tropical forests. Hot tropical forests provide different habitats depending on how much rain falls in them. Only a few are home to animals such as lemurs and Komodo dragons, whereas tigers and elephants are found across a range of wet jungles and dry woodlands. Ring-tailed lemurs only live wild in Madagascar. They often sit and sunbathe, soaking up the warmth of the morning sun. Bengal tigers have the longest teeth of any cat. Living in tropical forests and grasslands, adults prowl across their huge territories alone. The largest lizards, Komodo dragons, hunt wild pigs and deer. Females can fertilize their own eggs if there are no males available. And then mountain forests. In the foothills of mountains, where it is not too cold for plants to grow, Trees and grasses like bamboo provide food and homes for animals such as gorillas and bears. A giant panda's diet is almost entirely bamboo, but they have the digestive systems of meat eaters, so find their food difficult to break down. Red pandas eat up to 20,000 bamboo leaves in a single day, but they're not closely related to giant pandas. Male gorillas called silverbacks are strong enough to pull down medium-sized trees with ease and have a bite twice as strong as a lion's. Here we have temperate oceans. Cold and warm water mixed together in temperate oceans, making ideal conditions for life to thrive. Huge blue whales eat vast amounts of tiny krill that flourish there, while sharks, seals, and dolphins feed on the rich supply of fish. The largest animal ever to have lived, a blue whale, has a tongue that weighs as much as an elephant, and its heart is the size of a car. Lobsters can live for up to 50 years and show few signs of aging, often replacing their shells and lost limbs. Anglerfish have lights dangling on stalks above their eyes to lure fish into their waiting jaws. A giant squid has three hearts eyes the size of dinner plates, and its food passes through a hole in its donut-shaped brain. Unlike other fish, opus hearts pump warm blood, which helps them swim faster than their prey in the cold water. Here we have animals of the Arctic. The Arctic is the area around the North Pole and the top of North America, Asia, and Europe. It is so cold that the surface of the sea is thick ice, but many kinds of animals still manage to live there. Musk oxen are the record holders for fur length. Their thick outer coat can grow to one meter, 39 inches, nearly as long as a baseball bat. Arctic foxes live in family burrows that are hundreds of years old. Burrows can have up to a hundred entrances. Arctic terns fly between the Arctic and Antarctica every year to be at each pole for its summer. This is the same distance as three round trips to the moon during their whole lifetime. A polar bear's fur is transparent and reflects light, which helps it blend in with the snow. Its skin is black, which soaks up the sun's heat. Antarctica. Antarctica is a huge continent at the South Pole. Animals have to survive freezing temperatures and biting winds that blast across the ice. 
petrels run across the sea's surface to help them take off. They are named after St. Peter, who is said to have walked on water to meet Jesus. Leopard seals eat krill, penguins, and even other seals. They are prey for just one type of animal, an orca. An orca is almost as long as a bus and weighs as much as 13 grand pianos. In the desert. Deserts are the driest places on our planet. They can be scorching or freezing and sandy, rocky, or even covered in ice. Few plants grow there and animals face harsh living conditions. Like humans, female bark scorpions are pregnant for nine months, but they have over 20 babies at a time. Camels can close their nostrils to stop sand and dust from blowing up their nose in a storm. Rattlesnakes get their name from the sound made by shaking the tip of their tail to warn away enemies. Smith's red knee tarantulas eat insects as well as small mammals, reptiles, and birds that they ambush from their burrows. Here we have northern forests. Huge evergreen forests known as boreal forests or taiga cover Alaska and much of Canada and northern Europe. Animals there must survive long, dark winters with little food. Eurasian lynx's webbed paws make them fast, effective hunters, even in deep snow. They can bring down prey four times their size. Siberian tigers are the world's largest wildcats and eat around nine kilograms of meat a day. Their fur is thick and pale to help them survive in the cold and snow. Here we have temperate forests. Temperate areas are not very hot, not very cold. They're just right for trees such as oaks and maples to grow. Their fallen leaves carpet the ground, rotting into a rich soil that supplies a wide range of wildlife. Greater noctule bats hunt birds in flight, pinpointing their prey using high-pitched sounds that the birds cannot hear. Flightless and almost blind, kiwis have nostrils at the end of their long beaks to help them find bugs and worms in the dark. A platypus's bill can sense electrical pulses from the moving muscles of its prey, so it can hunt in the water with its eyes, ears, and nose shut. Here we have cold oceans. Large parts of the oceans near Earth's north and south poles are frozen over, but the ice cold water is brimming with tiny plants and animals. The whales and birds that feed on them have thick blubber or feathers to keep out the intense cold. A narwhal's sensitive spiral tusk can grow up to three meters long, about half the height of a giraffe, and contains up to 10 million nerve endings. Beluga whales make sounds and listen for the echoes to help them find food and breathing holes beneath the dark Arctic ice. Rockhopper penguins climb steep rocky cliffs to lay their eggs out of the reach of an hungry enemies. That is the animals of the world. Please subscribe and you can see whenever I put on a new story for you. Thank you for watching Elizabeth Reads.